What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. And much like my last video, we're going to be going over another couple of system mechanics in Dragon Ball Fighters in preparation for the big patch that's due to come out relatively soon. Because they made it clear that no system mechanic is safe from being changed in this upcoming patch, I figured like if I was ever going to talk about my feelings on these system mechanics and where they succeed and where they fail, now would probably be the best time to do so. In my last video covering a topic similar to this, I asked you guys what system mechanics you would like to see me talk about, and a lot of you suggested defensive mechanics like reflect and guard cancel, so I figured I'd tackle them both in one video. So let's start with guard cancel because it's a lot more limited in scope and in use. Basically the point of guard cancel is when you're getting hit by your opponent, for a short duration after being hit on block, you can push forward and the assist button, and have your teammate super dash in from off screen and take the place of your active player. The whole thing costs a bar and is a very shoddy way of getting out of the corner at best. If your opponent is good enough and sees this coming, they can punish you, take a lot of damage off, and probably switch back in your other character, instantly getting rid of all the blue health on them, leaving you in an even worse spot. So guard cancel can be a very risky mechanic to take advantage of, but at lower levels of play it's generally pretty safe to abuse. I do feel that's important to note because not every mechanic in a game needs to be there for competitive play. Some things are fine to have just as a little bit of extra fun for players. That's not to say that guard cancel is unusable at higher levels of play. Sometimes doing something unpredictable is exactly what you need to do, and the reward for getting a successful guard cancel off is pretty good. If it hits your opponent, you practically get reset to neutral. Overall though, I would love to see guard cancel get a bit of love over the patch. It can still be punishable if they see it coming, but if your opponent does end up blocking it, I would love to see it not be so easily punishable. In closing, guard cancel getting a buff would be good, but not necessarily needed. For the next mechanic, that being Reflect, I definitely would love to see this one get a buff. In and of itself, Reflect is a very cool system. By pressing back in special, your character will swing their arm out and deflect any attack it comes in contact with. This includes Key Blast, Normal Hits, and Specials. And for such a flashy and cool system that really captures the feeling of Dragon Ball for a lot of people, I'm surprised it's not used more prominently. Don't get me wrong, it's a great tool on defense when you're able to use it, but I feel like overall there should be more opportunities where the best answer is to reflect. This is an insanely hard thing to change while keeping the feel of Dragon Ball Fighters, as I'm sure that any changes to reflect to make it better would drastically change the way the game is played on both offense and defense, and it's a very real possibility that maybe the majority of players wouldn't enjoy that change. But I do think if anybody could find a good balance it would probably be Arc System Work, so I trust them to look into this a little. The best case scenario for me would probably be that reflect and up becoming more prominent within the game, acting as the game's substitute for push block, which if you don't know in Marvel vs. Capcom games, when you push forward against your opponent, you can knock them back a little. And really the only risk involved is that you mistime it and by pushing forward you stop blocking, thus getting hit and getting opened up with a combo. Now I don't think Reflect needs to happen as often as push blocking did in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but it should definitely play a bigger role than what it's playing now. If I were to personally offer up any suggestions as to what they could do to make Reflect a little easier to use, I would probably suggest making it a little less punishing when you miss a Reflect flat out. As of now when you press Reflect, there's a long period of time where you're just committed to that action. That's pretty much my thoughts on Guard Cancel and Reflect at the moment. I would love to see these two aspects of the game get buffed, and I would love for them just to take a look at defense in general in this game. Again, I think it's fine as is, I enjoy the game a lot after all, but I do think out of every area to improve in this game, defense would probably be the one that most people would appreciate. I know I would at least. But make sure to let me know your thoughts on both Guard Cancel, Reflect, and Defense in Dragon Ball Fighters down in the comments below. I'm really interested in hearing what other people have to say about these mechanics. I know my opinion is probably different from the very large majority of you all, so it's nice to read everybody else's thoughts. While you're down in the comment section, if you like this video and channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see other Dragon Ball Fighters videos like this one. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.